Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to set up the high and low pressure alarms for the Mata 1E tire pressure monitoring system. Um, so first, now we want to turn on the display by holding down the power button. Keep holding it down until the display turns on. So once it turns on, we want to go into settings. Find the cogwheel button, and then we want to keep holding it down until you hear a beep. Now you should see on the screen the pressure unit flashing. This could be PSI or bar. Um, if it is bar, you can set it to PSI by pressing the plus button once. So in this instance, it's already on PSI, so we'll just skip this step and go to the next settings by pressing the cogwheel button again. Now you'll see the Celsius or the Fahrenheit flashing. Um, so we want to keep Celsius, so we can press the cogwheel button again to go to the next settings. Okay, now we've come to the front axle of the car for the high pressure alarm value. So currently it is set at 43. You can increase this value by using the plus button or decrease this high value by using the minus button. For example, if I want to set it to 50, I can use the plus button to add it to 50. All right, once you're done with that, we can go to the next parameter. So press the cogwheel button once again. You'll see we're on the front axle low pressure settings. It's currently set at 29. So again, I can use the plus or the minus button to set this low pressure alarm value to what I want. For example, if I want to set it to 20, I can use the minus button and set it down to 20. Okay, we can move on to the next parameter by pressing the cog button. Now it's the car rear axle high pressure value. Uh, we can set that to 50. Press the cog button again and We'll set the low pressure alarm value for the rear axle. Once we're done, press the cog button again. Now we will set the trailer high pressure alarm value. Use the plus button to change it to what you want. And then press the cog button to go to the low pressure setting. Use the minus button to lower that down to 20. And then press the cog again for the trailer rear axle. Use the plus or minus button to change it to what you like. Cog wheel button to low pressure rear axle. Okay. Once you're done with this last parameter, hold down the set button and keep holding it down until you hear two beeps just like that. You should go back to the main screen and you're done.